<laughs> Welcome to the Maximum Chillage Podcast. I'm Chewy Sanchez. With me, as always, Hi, and I'm Tiki Mike. Tiki Mike, dude. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this. Pop open. it open. It's been a long it's a long time coming. We've been working on these fucking lights. It seems as if everything's working. You know what it is? That's everything like a works against us. Color, dude. You know why everything works against us? Because I looked at that uh, Chucky, the real Chucky doll, the Robert doll. Oh, I'm getting this all oh, over, dude. dude. Uh, there's a real Chucky doll. Mm-hmm. It's based off a real movie. or No, the movie's based off a real <laughs> doll. His name oh. is Robert. Dude, this is just a mess. And that does look like piss. Why'd you, why'd you bring this beer? Coronado Brewing know. Company. Well, that's, who, that's what we're reviewing today on this episode. 4.9, is that a lot? I don't really know. Uh, that's not that much. That's like a regular Bud Light, pretty much. Or Budweiser. Um, pretty that, good. That, that's what yours is. Is a Pilsner. Um, that's a blonde. Back up off the mic, dude. Uh, yeah, Just whatever, dude. Pop in. Okay. So that's a Pilsner. What that's do you a got? blonde. Uh, this you is got an a, IPA. This is a Stingray IPA. Thank you for keeping yeah. that away from me. Yeah, that's why I, I gave don't you... like those. Yes, that's that's why I, I chose this one over that one. Um, later in the episode, we'll have some of the same beers. I actually have a, uh, a very special beer for this episode too. Oh, okay. And a yeah, very non-alcoholic drink. Sauce. For this episode of the Maximum Chillage hey, Podcast, can I can I also just note that mine is a seven point nine percent. dude, that's so, not good. That's no, not good, good for you. It's good. It's a very dark urine colored. Remember when you used to that's piss nice. in bottles in your garage? No. <laughs> Let's explain this. Go ahead. You know? Yeah. Actually, no. <laughs> I can't explain it. Pokemon Go just sent no... me something. Well, I'm not going to talk about it, but... Yeah, why, why are you bringing that up right I, now? I don't know. <laughs> You're always on me when a text comes up. I don't even mention the text. I don't even think the thing picks up a buzz. And you say, like, oh, this guy. Why don't you play Pokemon Go anymore? The phone, and then you, you actually interrupt the show. It's my to show. To bring up I'm update. the talent. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, uh, yeah, you used to piss in bottles. I, I'm not going to talk about that. That is a real thing. That's a true thing. story. That's a real thing. That happened. There is a large collection of urine bottles. Um... <laughs> But uh, uh, let's uh, let's so, talk about these cups. Oh yeah, so these cups. I thought Michael was an idiot for bringing these. I didn't really like. I'll pour my beer into it. Are these clean? Mm-hmm. I was like, why did he bring mason jar stemware to my house? I thought he was an idiot. But then I was like, you know what? He doesn't really write anything. And he doesn't really. <laughs> he's never really on time. I appreciate him doing something for the podcast. Then I realized these were our groomsmen's. Uh, gifts for being a groomsman and kyle allen's wedding shout out to kyle uh, shout out to kyle allen if you're uh, watching this on yeah, the off chance yeah the, the yours actually does say chewy on yours mine says michael um what how long were these like uh in your trunk uh like a year then i moved them to my room and then he's been married for like almost almost two years, two years huh so yeah they've been in my room for a while and i keep on i just kept forgetting to uh bring you yours and um yeah you know i really romanticize uh like western stuff and uh that kind of lifestyle so these are pretty cool you know yeah. i, I want to shop at boot barn <laughs> sometimes we did go shopping at boot barn one time hey man i i for that wedding and yeah. i and i signed up for a subscription um you know to all their deals because i thought do you hey, still get those no i finally unsubscribed i think i'm still paying for those boots ago. dude <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Uh, so we're going to try something a little different on this episode of the Maximum Chillage Podcast. We're actually going to try to follow a format because we, we rant a lot, dude. You notice yeah. that? We do. Oh, yeah. So on this episode, we're going to talk about 14 ways to hack your life. It was a stupid thing I saw on Snapchat that I'm really salty that somebody gets paid to write these things. And I'm over here working like an idiot, doing stupid work. When people are writing cool ass things like 14 ways to hack your life, I'm gonna highlight not, the top not, four. Not cool, dude, man. They're they're fucking they're, they're scum. It's, yeah, yeah. It, well, it's, it's it's the bottom feeder. Don't you of, wish you were doing it though? No. Are those the millennials that people are hating on? They are, and I. But I I think I would be one of those ones that were like successful while doing it and then just killed themselves because you know. Uh, I mean, I I think I would realize that the 14 ways to hack your life i'm, I'm the fucking hack oh, dude i have some i you know. I, I, I brought some demonstrations today we're okay. gonna show that later right. we got okay. some demonstrations then we're gonna talk about hurricane harvey and michael has some cool uh global warming uh conspiracy theories that he's gonna share with theory. us they're just real theories yeah dude he's got some real things that he wants to share with hey, us all, today all, all theories are real and then Shoot. finally 
We're going to talk about the Mayweather versus McGregor fight. That only works if you watched it. Did you watch it after all? Mm, okay, I tried to uh, live stream it. Yeah. And I couldn't find any. Oh, dude, I'm pissed. We'll talk about thing. that. Okay. So let's. Uh, so with the review of the beer, I like it. I okay. don't know what this one tastes like. This one tastes very uh, familiar once again. Um, these are very reminiscent. The cans are very remin- reminiscent of those uh, cheap cans that you can get at like Walgreens. You get the cheap Walgreens beer. The mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not a fan of this one. Uh, IPAs. I, I do like IPAs sometimes. Uh, Have you had I, the Goose I just, Head a, IPA? No. I've been really wanting to try that. I I know nothing about it. Oh, dude. Wouldn't be able to comment. Commercials. They just got me. Commercials. I don't like IPAs, but the commercials got me to want that IPA. Wow. That's how good it is. That's, a, That's good marketing. Uh, that's a good millennial doing work right there. So, oh wow, dude, <laughs> gassy. This, hey, I, I, you know what? I, I'm gonna say that's just you drinking anything. Maybe. I think that's you drinking fucking water. No, oh, maybe. <laughs> so, I mean, that is you though. Uh, yeah. You can't drink anything without burping. Um, yeah. yeah. You drink water well, and you burp. Kind of. So I'm just swallowing air as I as I'm. You want to get to these 14 down, ways to hack yeah, your life? Yeah, let's get let's get to this 14. All right. So the one that I saw that I thought was ridiculous, like saying, "Wow." This person has this job. Scoop uh, kitty litter into your smelly shoes. That's a life hack for to them because it's okay. odor absorbent. Okay. Um, is that something you do overnight? They didn't really explain. I imagine it's something that you Probably. do overnight. That yeah. makes sense. I, what do you do to get stink out of your shoes? Oh, nothing. I just live with it. Do you? Yeah. I throw them away. Well, eventually. Yeah. Yeah. My shoes only last around half a year. Are you saying that your shoes are still in working order, but yeah, uh, because smell. of the stink, yeah. you just throw them out? Yeah. That's just a fungus, dude. Probably. That's just a fungus you're not dealing with. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> you, you just need a fucking... Uh, they just smell, dude. I have I have sweaty feet, man. Maybe some baby powder or something. Yeah, that works. You know? And the deodorant under your feet. That's a life hack. You use deodorant under there. That really works. Not these stupid kitty litter in your shoes. The uh, the one that I was like try the one I was most salty about is I actually made it for us all today because I was so salty that this was even a thing. Oh, I was trying to wonder what that was. It's a speaker. It's uh, a yeah yeah. Have you ever made one? Well, any cup will do, really. I just wanted to see if it actually. You don't worked. even need to do that. I wanted to see if it actually worked, so I was like, okay, let's see, let's look at this stupid ass life hack, see if it works. We're gonna play some royalty free music here. What do you think this gonna work? Well, any any cup works. You use it? You do that? I've seen people do that since we were in high school. They just put the speaker side right here, and it just amplifies out. All right, so this is a, this is the test here. So like, I've never seen one. Maybe if you're with your so girl complex. and she wants to listen to some Drake while you guys uh, do some heavy petting, but you're like, oh, I don't have my Bluetooth speaker. You can go and get these red Solo cups and a toilet paper roll and see if it works. So we're going to play this song right here, Royalty Free. So uh, you two doesn't come after me and try to steal all the hundreds of dollars we're making off of this podcast. That's, that's a Snapple commercial. That's not royalty free. Hey, man, that's just free advertisement for them. They couldn't have an issue with that. This is a uh, full volume. I'm actually going to okay, face, it face it towards us. Yeah. the microphone here. So there's regular volume with the phone. Let's put it into our cool ass speaker now. It fell out. There it is. Is that any louder? Not much difference, dude. Is there a difference though? Slightly. Not not really, dude. But honestly, like what I used to see people do all the time was just well this is cut out so it wouldn't do it, but just put it in the cup? Yeah, dude. It was just I would see kids do this in class all, what you're doing. all day. I'm just Put covering the hole. Put it in the cup. But, I mean, people oh, used to do that in high school. That sc- does work. Yeah, people used to do that in high school all the time. High school and college. So, I mean, right now I'm not very impressed nah, with this bullshit. life hack shit. That's just a waste of time. Life yeah, hack. Dude. I actually did waste my time. Snapchat life hacks. You jackasses. Okay, this, is, this one I've actually been pretty stoked on. Pretty stoked to try this one. So... You you talk about whatever you want with them right now. Right now is Michael's time. Okay. So, yeah. If you're drinking enough water, um, your urine should look a little bit more like this Pilsner compared to this IPA. Um, it clearly, you know, 
whoever's uh hey, dude i don't know what i'm talking do about do you remember these um, cups from yeah. our other episode that yeah, we yeah, wish yeah. we had a video for go ahead yeah. and show them those cups oh shit did, did we not oh we the didn't video have video didn't work the video didn't work yeah uh it's on the instagram post though that's true all right so i brought this very special bud light all right because go ahead and let's pour them so we're gonna have to have both of these beers asmr Oh man, it's pouring all over your, your shorts, dude. I am. It's not a clean pour either. I don't think you can clean pour with these mason jars. I think that's what's fucking up like all, all this on your table, man. Maybe. I've actually heard. I've heard this somewhere this weekend that the more that you have a uh, head on the glass, the less gas that you have because the gas has already escaped the beer. I mean, it, it makes it sense. Makes sense, yeah. So the life hack says that if you put a pickle. In any light beer, it makes it taste instantly better. Go ahead and take a sip of the Bud Light before. I mean, I mean, taste is all subject to uh, like interpretation. You know. It's true. Put this in there. Maybe put a little juice in there too. Ooh, maybe. Well, good are, are you doing that scientifically? Did the thing no, say? No, I mean, uh, this, whoever wrote this is a piece of shit. So. No science to it. You want to put some juice in there? No. All right. Well, now I got the pickle in there. Let's see if it tastes instantly better. I'm it didn't taste, change. It I didn't change the taste didn't at change all. A goddamn thing. So, so so far the speaker didn't work. This pickle in the beer didn't work. I'm pretty sure that the kitty litter doesn't work. And then the last one was. Uh, that if you have stinky clothes, yeah, which I do, get some cheap vodka and soak it in the stink. So soak your like stinky clothes in there, and it gets like the gym smell out of them. I guess this is for like stuff that's like not gonna be fixed by a washer. Like wait, if it's wait, just too stinky, that doesn't maybe make, like shoes again. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. I don't know. No, no, I mean like alcohol. I ha I guess has antibacterial properties. Um. They said cheap vodka to, to top it off. So some pop off. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. Dude. No, okay. Uh, I mean, vinegar, supposedly. Um, you soak your clothes in vinegar. That's supposed to, uh, you know, make them smell So if you had this job writing this article, do you think this is like a deadline article? They're like, hey, man, hey this, you this, got is their, this is their little inside joke to their other writers. Like, well, this is my life hack. <laughs> right, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit that nobody will ever ever try how many people actually went out to get a pickle to put into their beer or how many people decided i'm gonna fashion a little speaker thing out of there no i think a few hundred a few thousand probably they probably know that the people that are do you like the snapchat story i find that that's where you find all your news a lot of the time you'll be like i saw on the snapchat news or whatever the snapchat i oh i i i do follow some snapchat news on there have you um, seen that the Daily News is obsessed with this girl, Ariel Winter? Yeah. Who is da she? Da Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Yeah, I I don't know why. And they're it's obsessed always, with her. Do you think she that she pays at this? Yeah, no, I'm she pays sure. Them. I'm sure there's a publicist because or a master. She's uh, a pretty girl. There's nothing uh, like I. But I, she's I no she Kylie is. Jenner. She's not that like popular or famous to yeah. be following every day. Daily Mail always has. An Ariel Winter. There, there's a couple of Ariel Winters out there that th that I feel like certain news outlets are are um, at least on Snapchat are trying to blow up that name. Uh, it's obviously something that that uh, they pay for. Yeah, I bet so you, like, if I went on here right now, I bet you I could find her. I'm gonna try it, but I don't know who she is, why she's there, how much they pay her. Can I pay them to feature me? I think that's her right there. No day off. For Ariel, where did it go? I want to prove this. There it is, Daily Mail. Ariel breaks a sweat. You can't see it, but it's there. Uh, she seems to be vacationing. A also, lot. I saw. I just saw a story right here that uh, a guy who works at a hospital got fired because they checked Justin Bieber's medical records for STDs. Wait, like he got into their He went to the hospital, checked himself files. in. Yeah, and then he they pulled his medical records. The, the person who works there pulled the medical records to check if he got STDs, and now there's a lawsuit, and he got fired. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, he should be fired. Yeah, definitely. But that's a story on there. Like that's oh. a is that newsworthy? I don't think it's newsworthy. Uh, it's a, it's I mean, well, there's different markets of news. I mean, there's people that are like interested in in like what the fuck's happening in Somalia. I don't know. And then there's people that are interested in like, you know, funny Dude, funny lights. cat stories. These lights are beautiful. They made my they hide all my blemishes, but they are hot. Yeah, I don't, th- I don't think they give off any heat. No, oh, dude, these things are hot. I don't know what hot. you're talking about. Th- these things do not add any heat. Hmm. Like, I don't think so. I think that maybe is it this beer then? Is this the, the room, pickle? The room was hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a hot, hot room. We lost our studio space. So <laughs> now we're dealing with this shit ass space. Uh, so the fight, did you, you didn't watch it? Okay, no, I was trying to find live streams, but they're all scams. Um, so I was trying to find live streams on Reddit, yeah, Reddit? And, oh. and, and on YouTube and, uh, the, no, the YouTube no, streams are the best dude. Nobody would find a YouTube stream. Nobody was coming through. They kept, they were very on it. Um, a lot of them, the ones that seem legit said this channel has been taken off by copyright, blah, blah, blah. Um, then I saw some guy that was advertising the, the, the live stream of the fight and it was just some dude like doing a live podcast kind of, oh, and he was, inter- yeah. he was interviewing people. Now the guest that he had started talking about his friend who was on Instagram and that he was live streaming it right now. So I clicked in that name and uh, I was watching the uh, the Irish Ash- National Anthem. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, it's fucking actually working. The guy had like 200 followers. How whack is that National Anthem? Uh, it was whatever. I just, I, I didn't think that I was like that into my National Anthem until they played that one. And I was like... Well, mo- most other National Anthems aren't so... Like, cool. Well, our national anthem's pretty build cool. Build it up for a battle, kind <laughs> of. Um, ours is very much like a war anthem. Everybody else's is just pretty chill. I was listening to it and I was like, "Fuck yeah, Mayweather! Fuck this guy <laughs> up!" Oh, did I tell you I changed camps? Did you change camps? I did. Why? why? When I realized that he's a boxer versus uh, somebody who's never boxed before. Yeah. Yeah, I made a twenty dollar bet and I won. I wish it would have been did higher. Did you give them odds? Well, what do you mean? Well, what, I mean, what round and what? No, no, no. I'm saying uh, McGregor was going in there at, at a one to five. Um, odds. Oh, this was a person. I made a bet with a person watching. I know. Watching I know I'm I didn't saying give them any like odds, you no. didn't give them odds. They were UFC, devout UFC fans. Oh, they're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't know who this is, and don't even tell me. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't agree with I'm Michael. I'm just saying that they're a fucking idiot, dude. I mean, you they can't UFC- be that devout to the sport to think that it transcends into other sports. I mean, boxing is so much about endurance and and uh the fights last so much longer and and ufc you just have to get that fight over with no i agree with you i think you need a lot more endurance uh they were stating that you needed more endurance to do ufc and it takes a lot more out of you no no no. you take a beating for 12 rounds in boxing and uh it showed it showed in the fight that uh it went to the 10th round it got warm it got warm huh no it is I just smell the pickle. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad. It didn't went to ten rounds, and he did. A, McGregor did a really good job. He didn't do a bad job. No, I actually was bummed because I paid for the fight myself. You paid for it. Oh, dude. Thanks for the invite, dude. I told you you could come. Remember on the show. Look back to the last episode. I oh, said, "Come on maybe, down." Maybe you did. I, I did. I don't remember that at all. Whatever. Uh, so I pay for it, and uh, while I'm watching it, I'm on Twitter, tr- just trying to see what Twitter's saying. And uh, there's somebody periscoping at perfect quality. If I, I could have just pu- plugged in my phone to the TV and I would have watched it for free. Well, you see, well, okay. Well, I was trying to go that route and, you know, I did find it. And, you know, a periscope? Getting, no, no, to the Instagram. Some random dude's account, 200 followers, uh, public account. And uh, he was just having a ball. Now, with the, I, when I was watching it, I watched it for about six minutes. And in that time, you can see how many people are also viewing that live stream. Mm-hmm. It jumped from like 200 some people when I was first watching it to it reached about 42,000 people. Now, the UFC and boxing were really mad at all this uh, piracy of the yeah. fight. Those people wouldn't have bought the fight anyway is how I see it. They wouldn't have shelled out the $100. Well, dude, I mean, yeah, but still, you still try to protect it as much as you can. As much money as you're investing into it. Yeah. I mean. But they already uh, made their money. They yeah, made the money was tons. already going to be made. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, I don't see why they. 
Well, I, you just can't lie down and say, oh, it's okay. You can pirate it all you want. Yeah. But I don't think you're, you're losing that much money by the people who are, are, are pirating it because they weren't going to pay anyway. Like, if I didn't buy into the hype, I would have hella just looked for a link just like you did. You didn't buy okay. it. Well, no, but I didn't get to see the fight. The the motherfucker, <laughs> as soon as, like, the the American National Anthem was uh -huh. over, he's like, ha <laughs> And then he, he turned it he off. He literally dude. laughed? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he dropped from like, okay, it went up to 41,000 viewers. And then somehow, for some reason, um, people kept on commenting like, you got to turn this off or to go to private. They're going to get you. And I don't know if he was listening to that or if just like because it, it dropped from like 41,000 to like 19,000 viewers. But he just like <laughs> laughed and he turned his camera down. And it was just black for a little bit, and then it How said pissed this is were ended. You? I, I was like, "Are you pissed? God damn it! I've been searching YouTube channel after YouTube channel." So for what did like you do? You just looked on Twitter hours. to see what was happening? Yeah, I just started watching a movie, dude. Oh, you just gave up on I it? Just gave up on it, and then I just checked in an hour and uh, an hour and a half and uh, saw the results. It was a good fight. Yeah. I'll give it up to yeah. Connor. He uh, he stood his ground. Like, but people are giving him a lot of credit for like they're like, "Oh, like he proved blah blah blah." I don't. I don't. I don't give him that much credit, like that much praise, because he is a very fit individual who does fight. It's not like you and got he's a lacrosse player years younger. and pl and went and played uh, football for a day. You took yeah. another fighter, and uh, you have different styles, yeah. But, I mean, he's fit as fuck, dude. He's fit as fuck. He's he, a lot younger than Shit than ton younger. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, they were giving him, they're like, oh, he, he stood up to the best. He's like, yeah, well, I mean, he is a professional also championship fighter he was also a fighter different styles but i mean what did you expect for him to like completely shit the bed in the first three rounds nah. i i saw it i thought for sure it was gonna go to decision and i could see in decision it's somehow going to mcgregor if that if he was gonna win that's how he was gonna win in yeah. a decision somehow i didn't think that he that was he gonna was knock gonna him out knockout in the first four rounds like he was stating and then I don't know if you saw this, but in the first, uh, when they were showing him the little uh, preview, the preview uh, interview before the fight, he says, I think I'm going to do it in the first four rounds. But uh, if I do it any longer than that, it's just because I'm dragging it out. And I was like, you motherfucker. You lost your confidence and oh, you're yeah. trying to find excuses. But it was a good fight. Um, I'm glad I didn't bet you because at that time, I really was team uh, Connor. I think we had a little conversation after the fact what i want to know is okay so mayweather goes out he's old well older for his sport uh he has a 50 and 0 record you know he goes out undefeated yeah do you think they will work in a rematch in like two years they're talking about he's saying he's done He's saying I'm done. Yeah, yeah I know. But they I know were also saying, saying they were also saying money talks. Three hundred million. Yeah. <laughs> money talks. I mean, three hundred million for this fight, and in another couple years, they're he will get more. Uh, uh, how, how much do you think it would be? Three hundred million? Is that that's what would be? Uh, yeah, he would bring him out. He would definitely get now. How bad would he million. look? He wouldn't look bad. How bad would Connor look if he lost again? If he lost again? Oh, he would definitely look bad. But I don't think he would lose again. You don't think he would lose again? Nah. If they were going to do another three fight years from two, now, probably. Yeah, and he has. They're saying Connor might fight again as early as December, but back in the octagon. Okay. They're saying that he's going to do the uh, Diaz trilogy, where he's going to face Diaz one more time, because they've they've gone at it twice, one uh, apiece. No. Okay, yeah, I was going to say Diaz won, right? And the McGregor won. Uh, shout out to Stockton, Stockton doing it. Doing. Uh, shout out to and you know I I, I don't. Uh, usually advocate this but shout out to vegan um fighters did you know that that guy i did a not vegan? know yeah, that he's a vegan and he all, all the vegans were like super i saw his brother in vegas the same time i saw holyfield oh yeah yeah that's cool uh he actually i don't really want to throw anybody under the table or under the bus but he actually like looked at us and was like hey where's the parties at because <laughs> uh, we were on the same floor as him oh cool yeah in the i think we were in Fucked the MGM, I think we were in, and uh, he wanted to party with us. I think he just wanted free coke, to be honest <laughs> with you. Probably, I mean, why else would you want to party with a bunch of dudes? Probably wanted some free coke, but yeah, we saw him, and he was a really nice guy, uh, even though I think he beats uh, I think he beats women, I think he has one of those on him. 
Well, I mean, I mean, if you look at Mayweather, I mean, that guy has. Yeah, like, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super. I so I brought something else today. Because I was at the why, store. Why, why? I mean, I thought these disappeared. They came back. Again? Uh-huh. Second One round? more time. One more time. Just like Mayweather will come back. Crystal <laughs> Pepsi. I just got it for the... Nostalgia? Nostalgia, if you will. I didn't have them. Did you have them when uh, they were first around? No. In the 90s? No. If you're not aware, Crystal Pepsi is regular Pepsi, but without the coloring. In the 90s, Pepsi realized that there was a big old health trend. And uh, they wanted to ride the health wave, and they said, what's more healthy than cola without dyes? Because it looks more like water. It tastes just like Pepsi, right? I don't think so, dude. That might be in my head. No, this tastes just like Pepsi. I don't think so, dude. It tastes just like Pepsi. I, I have to have a blind test. I was going to do it, but then I decided against it. Because I was like, I'm not going back to the store. <laughs> <laughs> And then I already I thought, wow, we're gonna have three or four different beers plus pe- Pepsi tonight. Yeah, dude, I'm actually probably done on on the beer. Oh, I'm not having another beer. Yeah, the, I'm the, probably not gonna drink this whole Pepsi. I just wanted to talk about the cool nostalgia that is Crystal Pepsi. Are you more of a Pepsi guy or a Coke guy? Um, I like Coke more. I, it's gonna depend. Uh, for the most part, I like Coke actually. Um, sometimes you know, Pepsi is just. Coke it just burns a little bit. I dude. like it. I like it too. Sometimes I just want a nice chill cola, and that's where I go to Pepsi. You know, what I'm saying? I always see Coke cans in your car because I like just like I said, I mostly like mostly like Coke, Coke. but sometimes that doesn't taste just like Pepsi, do you? I don't know, dude. Do that taste in my just head? Like Pepsi. It's in my head. It, it, no, it, it tastes... probably. I'm saying it probably does taste just like Pepsi, but in my head, this doesn't taste like Pepsi exactly. If you are watching this and it's not too many years later, because if you just stumble upon this somehow, you went through the rabbit hole that is YouTube, go get a Crystal Pepsi because once they're gone, that's it. Dude, they're gone. I, I saw this video um, when Crystal Pepsi first came out again. Mm-hmm. And uh, there is this video. I was just Googling, or go, not Googling. I was just checking shit out on YouTube and I decided to check out Crystal Pe- Pepsi. Should we do this for the thumbnail? There was a guy. <laughs> How do we do thumbnails, dude? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have good thumbnails. <laughs> there was this guy that ordered a Crystal Pepsi, an original Crystal Pepsi from like eBay. Oh, and the LA Beast, the big guy. Is, was that him? Was he's that he's the single-handedly one that he, he drank it and got sick. He, he like, single-handedly brought it back. Oh, okay. he started the petition to bring it back. Oh. His name's Kevin. Shout out to Kevin LA Beast on YouTube. If you haven't seen his channel, dude, he has a really cool channel. Okay. It's just stupidity. He eats cactus. <laughs> like full cacti like he just with the eats, pins and... yep he'll eat those uh he eats insanely hot things like all the hottest peppers he'll eat those um he has the world record for eating the most powdered donuts in one sitting uh the most maple syrup chugged in one sitting he has like the guinness world records that's what he like he it's does not the guy that's like name something and i'll i'll consume it and it'll be like a gallon of oil no Cooking oil? No, I don't know. You know it's what? Not the same guy. No, but the LAB says drank a gallon of tapatio. Mm. Most of them end up with him just yakking. Uh, okay, yeah. But yeah, uh, he has a that. really good personality. I like him. He's really funny. He's probably gonna develop some ulcers over the years. Well, maybe. But he's really like uh, he's not a. He sounds if you just listen to his description, he sounds like a big guy, right? Uh huh. He's like a pretty fit guy. Like he's like a a bodybuilder type. Oh, okay. So he's not like skinny or anything. But he's got a lot of muscle mass to him. I think he warts off what he tries to uh, his well, no. I'm just challenges. saying uh, you the know, ulcer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just eating a lot of acidic things. Dude, one time I was, uh, I was just, Oof. I was just like taking squirts Sorry. of uh, fucking uh, what's that shit? Uh, sriracha. Sriracha. I was Remember when we had sriracha? sriracha? I don't think sriracha is hot anymore. It isn't. I I looked it up. Um, oh, they okay. used to use uh, they used to use a mix of red pepper and habaneros or red, red jalapeno. And habaneros, and uh, they took the habaneros out. We were just... at a, a Chinese restaurant uh, for lunch one day, having a maximum chillage, uh, ridiculous meeting. And uh, <laughs> we do that. We think this is serious. But uh, we, uh, I, I was convinced that I was sick. I was like, Michael, I, I can't taste the sriracha. Like, I don't, my taste buds are, my, my sinuses are so messed up that I can't taste anymore. So I was like, putting sp- spoonfuls of sriracha on a spoon and eating it and i was like dude it's not hot like this used to be hot and then mike's like nah dude it's all in your head like it probably is hot you're just used to it 
But then he got a spoon and he was like, nope, this is not hot. And we both thought that we had it in our heads. But uh, so you looked it up. Yeah, Sriracha is not up. as hot. Sriracha is not as hot. That it sucks, dude. Yeah. But OK, so, you know, one day I was just chilling at home and, you know, I like hot things. I was just chilling at home and I just had some Sriracha bottle. Sounds like really fucking weird. I was just watching TV and every now and then I would just squirt some Sriracha <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> And then I realized a good portion of this bottle was gone. And I was just like, Fuck. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. You went to the fridge. I didn't have it in the fridge. We, we went to the kitchen and walked back with it. Yeah, it was I don't know. I probably had something else with it at first. And then I ran out of whatever it was. And then I just had the sriracha. So I was just like chilling, watching, you know, whatever, binge watching something and just like squirting some sriracha in my mouth every now and then. I was like, well, this is delightfully sweet and slightly spicy. And I was just eating sriracha. And then I fell asleep on the couch. Now imagine this. With a bottle of sriracha. I don't know if it was in my hand. (laughs) (laughs) But I had fallen asleep and I woke up. With the worst <laughs> pain in my stomach. I, I thought, this is going to be a really embarrassing story of having to go to the emergency and tell them, I drank a whole bunch of sriracha. I need my stomach pumped or something. I, I thought I thought I was like, this is the ulcer. This is the ulcer. I've somehow created a wall in my stomach lining. This is burning. This hurts. And... um. Yeah, I, I was drinking water, and then I was like, oh, How long terrible. was this ordeal? <laughs> Only like 30 minutes. I, I, you were panicking. I, I was panicking, and, and, and I was in the bathroom, and I was just like, just deciding. <laughs> am I going to make a trip to the emergency for this? <laughs> I, and I was like, oh, I got work in the morning. I oh, dude, a trip to, to the emergency room is no joke. Yeah, That's an eight-hour commitment. <laughs> Sometimes it is. It's an eight-hour commitment. Yeah. So, you know, I decided to, against it. I just chugged a lot of water. You should have drank some milk. Yeah. I might have. I don't remember. I, I, I know uh, milk is, is basic and all that. And uh, No, I I, uh, I I was drinking just drinking water. I thought, oh, I'll dilute. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I fell asleep again. And then in the morning it was just done. But, yeah, it, it was a terrible idea. Um, well, I mean, I don't know if there was any thought into it. I wasn't intentionally drinking the sriracha but uh yeah i just read this it says october 3017 you're lying no well it says october 30th oh 17 but they don't even space it It just looks like 3017 if i was an idiot i well no one would be able to test it (laughs) that's a that's a short shelf life for a a soda and next month it goes bad (laughs) yeah Maybe the cro- the color has something to do with how long the Some shelf life. Some kind of preservative in the color. I don't know. Anyways, but you wouldn't eat like crazy stuff to for this channel to take off. You wouldn't come here with a cactus to eat. No, dude. That that's how people get famous. Sriracha man. made me want to contemplate going to the emergency room. But it was all good. A though. cactus. I would definitely. Go you know to what? A I was looking at the cactus room. at Lowe's the other day. Yeah. I was in the plant section of Lowe's. And when they're babies, that they're like small. Yeah, the little pokies aren't that hard. Yeah, they're like soft. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. <sighs> Still. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, our uh, my culture, your culture, eats cactus, but without the little pokies. Yeah, cactus is actually delicious. Do you like it? I was never a fan. My um, my grandpa would make it all the time. I never really liked it. Mm. It's a it's like, salty. No, um, because he didn't actually salt it. Um, it was just like tart or something you know it's not uh it's just not a flavor that i really like um shout out to all the grandmas out there making nopales still yeah but uh yeah so i mean i like them but i like them when they're in vinegar let's check out these show notes that we're supposed to pay Uh, attention to but we didn't it's all good though Uh, it's it's probably more formatted than usual tropical storm harvey Mm. harvey Mm. Hmm. is the real face of climate hmm. change, says meteorologists. This is the fourth, I believe, 500-year flood in Texas in the last 20 years. This doesn't happen. This is not supposed to happen like it does. Speaking of climate change and uh, global warming, it is hot outside, dude. Like, unseasonably hot. It's been 109 all week. Today, we got a break. Is 101. Tomorrow, goes back to 106. It's the end of August, Michael. 
Monday's Labor Day. It's supposed to signify the end of summer. The Well, not the season, but like the kids going back to school and stuff. What do you, what's that face about, man? Are you one of those people who doesn't believe in climate change? Go ahead. Spew your knowledge. You know, Chewy, this is clearly a masked, a masked operation <laughs> by the liberal elite <laughs> to extort tax monies from us to go towards NASA. NASA. <laughs> Bro, we've never even been to the moon. <laughs> do you really believe? No, honestly, do you really think that we've never been to the moon? Well, yeah, we probably have. But, but do you think we did went to the moon when we said we did? When we said we yeah. did? Maybe not. I've always wondered because it was a race. Of Stanley Kubrick and all of his uh, that movie used to freak me out as a kid. His allu- his uh, supposed uh, little things that he left in his movies that like two thousand is it two thousand twelve two thousand one space two thousand one. That used to scare me as a kid. The song? Or what? The, well, the whole soundtrack, one, is kind of creepy. But also, um, just the hey. Hal's voice is hey, weird. What are you doing, Dave? Yeah. Can't you understand? They, no, that guy? Yeah. Nah, man. He was Kubrick. Just, just chilling, what else dude. did Kubrick do? A uh, uh, Clockwork Orange. Other than that. Um, Good movie. Uh, Doctor Strange Love. Other than that. Uh, fucking, uh, god damn it. Um, the, the, the Stephen King novel, what is that? The uh, Shining? The Shining. That's what I was thinking. I didn't, I couldn't really remember. I just wanted to go on to that segue. Halloween <laughs> Horror Nights in Universal Studios yeah. has uh, The Shining Maze, and I really want to go. That's, that's getting me. That the The Shining. Cool. They also have a Saw Maze, and they also have, Saw the movie? Yeah. They also have a uh, American Horror Story Roanoke. I know you might not be a big American Horror Story fan. I, I watched fan. the first season. Well, the Roanoke one was like two different shows. The first half where it was good, and then the second half where it just completely falls off and takes wait, a shit wait, on wait, itself. Wait, wait, which one is this? The last one, Roanoke. What, My, but Roanoke, where, where is what's, what's that one about? That one's in Roanoke, uh, Virginia, I, I believe. Oh, okay. So the story is... Um, the, whoever came over here, settlers, whatever, they came to the United States and they settled this colony called Roanoke. And, um, the people who b- brought them on their sail ships had to go back to get more people or some shit. I don't know why they had to go back. So you leave the settlers. They left the settlers. So they I guess, leave. I imagine there's some native confrontations. Could have been. They don't no. know. So oh. that's the thing. They leave. They take off. They come back two years later, or however long it took them to sail the seas at that time. They come back, and the people are gone. That's not kind of that's not weird because people move, you know. What was weird is that they were all gone, but all their stuff was still there, and there was no sign of struggle. So nobody took a thing with them. Nobody packed up. There's no signs of them taking anything with them. All their gear was still there, but they were gone as a people. So it's always been a big story of what happened to the people of Roanoke. And that's just a story that they have out there. And they, as people, as producers do, they steal old folk tales and make millions of dollars off of uh, TV shows on it. So that's what the story is on Roanoke. But they're going to have a maze at Halloween Horror Nights. Have you been to Halloween Horror Nights? I've never been. Dude, pretty good. I went to one year when they had a Black Sabbath maze. Black Sabbath maze. What was so Black 13. Sabbath about it? Uh, the album 13 had just come out. Um, what was so Black Sabbath about it was the only thing that was Black Sabbath about it was they had uh, classic Sabbath songs playing in the background, playing in the background which was pretty <laughs> legit. Okay. It sounds kind of lame, but I mean, you're just listening to War Pigs as you... Uh, trying to go through a maze. As you go through a maze. And people are trying to scare you. Mm-hmm. And they have carny makeup on. I don't remember how they were dressed. I thought they would be dressed kind of Sabbath-ish, mm-hmm. but they really weren't. It wasn't like themed as like how do you how do you really theme yeah, things out for Black Sabbath? Just, no, that's what yeah. I was wondering. It's just scary. Okay, it's just scary is what it is. I could have done Alice Cooper. That would have been cool. Yeah, I mean he he had a, a beheading on his stage. Did he? It was a fake beheading. It was his own beheading. Oh, he he would get beheaded on his stage. He's a weird guy. Yeah, good guy though. You know he lied to me, dude. When he said school was out for summer? 
Oh, you <laughs> it know It was what? out forever? Yeah. No, it's, it's not just out that, forever. Yeah. I mean, now it is, kind of. Well, I mean, you're still... You're still at school, man. It's a constant thing on this no. channel. Michael goes to school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can have a really bad Descendants rip-off uh, cartoon, cartoon of me. Or, Descendants? Yeah. Milo goes to school. Or Milo goes to college. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Disney Channel movie, <laughs> no, The Descendants. No, no, no wait. The Disney Channel. Wasn't it The Descendants? Isn't that the one with... Uh, There's also one with George Clooney. George Clooney. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, there is a Descendants. wife in a coma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a Disney Channel. There's also a Disney Channel movie. That threw me for a loop, too. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what The Descendants is for Disney Channel is um, it's all the descendants of the classic Disney Channel character, or the Disney movies characters okay so like ursula has a daughter and like that kind of stuff all their kids who got it on with ursula that's a good question well who got it on with mr krabs from star from spongebob a whale yeah who where's she at dude Uh, she took off why is it because he was too i mean he had all kinds of money dude she could have she could have died she could have died poor pearl you ever think about that when you're watching cartoons? Like, who got, who got it on with who? Did you get, like, SpongeBob's parents, you'd see them. One's a used ass sponge, and the other one's an <laughs> old lady who's really dolled up all the time. And they got it on at one time. Yeah, yeah. And they had SpongeBob, and there's something wrong with that kid. <laughs> he has some kind of arrested development wrong with him. Yeah, yeah. What's the George movie, the George Clooney movie about? Well, I never really watched it. They're in Hawaii, right? They're in Hawaii. And- That's as much as I know. I just know the trailer. He's running <laughs> <laughs> with a stupid George sweaty. Clooney look on his face. <laughs> but I, I, I came into the movie, or the movie was on, and uh, I know that his wife is in a coma, and he's supposed to be dealing with that. And I think he might be wanting to move on with his life or something. But uh, I came into the movie, and it was already well into the movie, and he's just like screaming at his wife who's in a coma. I was like, oh, I don't, I don't know if I should watch this right now. <laughs> um, I wasn't in good headspace to be watching that. That sounds like a sad movie. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he so. He just has to get on with his life, dude, you know? she He's in arrested development, not, uh, you know, continuing his life and growing and doing things that he should be doing. His wife's in a coma, you know? Dead weight. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's. With that, Michael, <laughs> your final thoughts. My final thoughts. I guess till death do us apart and he should have stayed. I don't know. That's my final thought. Your final thought today is that? Yeah. Really? Okay. Um, I don't got anything here. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? I had another one. Uh, Let's I, go back I, to that I, first. I, I really want to go back to this. No, I really want to go to this one. Okay. So, you're a Game of Thrones fan, right? This sounds like, this sounds like Buzz, BuzzFeed, dude. It's actually Esquire. We don't, <laughs> we don't have to talk about this one. Oh, okay. Game of Thrones. Did you see the season finale? What I want to know is... Did you hop a bunch of seasons? I didn't watch it. Oh, but you watched this finale? No. Oh, well then, yeah, I did watch it. You did? Yeah. Don't tell me what happened. Oh, okay. Like, okay. What do you uh, want me to say? How bummed are you that it's not going to be till 2019 that you get to watch the final season? Look, okay, so this is actually an interesting topic. Um, I think this is going to happen more often uh, with the services with shows that we have. In general? That are, yeah. Um, I think that... Uh, a year's a long time to wait. Okay, so I was like really looking forward to the revamp of The Tick. I know that sounds funny. You remember the show yeah, The Tick? Yeah, I remember the cartoon. The cartoon, and then there was a live action. Oh, I don't remember I, the live action. Yeah, uh, the guy, that actor that does all the voices for Disney movies, and he played um, Putty on uh, on. Seinfeld. That's exactly he, who he, I, I envisioned he, being he, The Tick. He was The Tick in the, in the live action 90s. Oh, one. wow. Okay, so maybe they, I saw it and I don't remember, but like <laughs> barely remember. Okay, well, well, it was. It he's was a, a good show. actor. Yeah, he's a good actor. He's underrated. He is underrated. Um, if you go on Soaring California, or it's not Cali- oh, yeah, it's not that anymore. Yeah. But in D- Disney's California Adventure, he lives for an eternity <laughs> as your flight attendant for yeah. that that uh, ride. Yeah, does a marvelous job there. He does. You know what's the most underrated putty movie? What's that? The Emperor's New Groove. Oh, definitely. A yeah. very underrated crunk. Hey, you know most what? underrated Disney character. You know what though? He got a whole TV show out of that, and he was one of the original. Or he's not too many voice actors from the movies that do the Disney TV shows after oh. or from the movies. He, he did. You know why though? Because well, most in... of them have shit going. Yeah, to, they have <laughs> yeah. things to do yeah. other They're than cartoons. A-list. Yeah. Um, 
But, you know, he, he, had, he had a couple years with that character, you know, is what I'm saying. Well, anyways. David Spade. That's one of his best movies ever, other than Tommy it, it Boy. Was, Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. Maybe? Black Sheep as I well, mean, yeah. They're almost the same movie. The same movie. I, I fucking love <laughs> same it. Same movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, he and... and uh, Putty. Anyway. Um, okay, so I was really looking forward to The Tick coming out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, it kept on saying, oh, You can only August watch that 25th. on this certain Amazon. Thing. Amazon, you have well, that? Well, I, I use my sister's account. Oh, okay. Um, so, you know, I was, like, looking forward to watching this season. And then I burned through six episodes real quick. And I was like, there's no more episodes. What the fuck? Like, is that really it for one season, just six episodes? And then I looked into it. They have 12 episodes for the first season. But they're not going to release the next six episodes for another six months or something. They wanted to start bringing back that idea of episode anticipation and like wanting to. But I mean, I feel like and, a year's and, long enough, man. Two years? Hey, but also HBO is a subscription-based program. And a lot of people take advantage around this time of year of that four-week trial. Oh, yeah. And they wait a couple weeks into the season. And then they take the free trial watch all the back episodes watch the back episodes watch the next couple weeks and then they end their subscription yeah so now those people aren't probably going to have a credit card a new credit card by then to put their their account on and get a new free trial so they might have to decide like well i so guess you I'll like have to this buy. format you're, you're a fan of it of what waiting two years no oh <laughs> But I understand it. It you know it gives me a lot of time to catch up. It, I'm on season two, episode one. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. You're really behind. Behind. Wow, man. They're an hour episode. Eat. They're an hour long episodes. Yeah. Uh, ten episodes a season. So that's. Chewy, Chewy, let let me tell you. Uh, some time. Let, okay, I woke up at seven o'clock this morning. Yes. Let me tell you, Chewy. You know how I always tell you that I'm doing things. Yeah. I usually am. But I'm also playing catch up uh -huh. because I've spent my morning doing nothing. And when I say doing nothing, ask me how many Game of Thrones episodes I watched today. How many? Like three, four. Why? Three. You went, you're rewatching? I was rewatching and I was trying to build up till I got to that last episode. Is this show really that it. good? No. Well, yes. Yes and no. I feel it's a lot of hype. I, I think a lot I of people like are hype. I feel like a lot of it is hype. Hold on a second. I think a lot of people so are hype. So I saw the first season Hold on and second. I was like, this is all right. I'm not no, like crazy okay, it about gets, it. Okay, it gets better. Um, but I'm going to say the reason all why... All it is is just a little man saying, Lannister always pays his debts. <laughs> uh, that's your thoughts of it on season one. All right. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, just keep watching. That's all he says, um, dude. And then there's hot, hot ass <laughs> Khaleesi <laughs> and that dude who looks like he just rails her real good. Yeah. <laughs> Cal Drogo. Yeah. Um... Okay. He lays it down, dude. There is a lot more to the series than I that. I wish it was just that. <laughs> if it let, was just that, let, I'd tune in for 13 <laughs> seasons. Let, let me just say this, Chewy, though. The reason why I have watched this is because Season I... Season 14. I, <laughs> they get into Tantric. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I rewatch these episodes is because I actually am very invested in the storyline and there were so many do references. You write fan fiction. I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was I about that... it was about when Cal Drogo and, <laughs> and, and Daenerys Stormborn started, you know, experimenting into tantric. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that when you when you, you eventually see the dialogue when you, you pass away, because I know it's gonna happen pretty soon. <laughs> this guy's gonna come to you with this box <laughs> and a key to the box. You're gonna find all of my very. <laughs> Various fan fictions ranging from like fucking Darkwing Duck <laughs> to fucking Game of Thrones <laughs> season 14 when it clearly ends in season 8. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make millions off of that fan fiction because I'm sure it's really good. Yeah, one of the best fan fictions I ever read was um, there was this I don't know how I found it in high school, but I found a script that somebody wrote. Full script, full movie length script of Alien vs. Predator vs. Barney. And it was interesting. <laughs> Somebody in our high school wrote it? No, oh. not, nobody in our high school wrote it. I I, I, I was on your message the boards deep, way the back deep, then. Deep depths of the internet in 2004, 2006 era. And, That's uh, when you used to blue screen your parents' computers all the time. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, 
uh, yeah, so uh, it was it was a funny script. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson was a role in there, <laughs> uh, if I remember right. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was a good script. Um, but uh, okay, the reason why mm-hmm. I watch these is because I said I wasn't gonna finish this. <laughs> I'm, I'm real. I'm making a dent. Go for it. Yeah. Uh, well, the 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 they're okay in the books. I've never read the books. Mm-hmm. In the books, there are four. I there. there are books. there are four hundred characters mm-hmm. in the books, all with names and backgrounds and everything, um, personalities. Not just like shallow, uh, r- you know, presentations of the characters. They're real characters. Um, the the series is a lot different from the books from the things that I've read. Um, some characters get consolidated into one character. Um, some people survive. Some people die. That it's a little bit different than the books. But there were so many things that I didn't understand watching it the first time through that watching it a second or third time, I'm like, wow, okay, so this is when this happens. This is the back dealings that are going on here. This is the message that's being sent that you know causes this major event to happen. Um, I, I just find it more So why do you say no at the same time then? You say um, yes and no. Oh, I think there is a lot of hype. Um, I, I was just answering the question about whether it's hype. Yeah. Yeah, it's hype. I feel like too there, many there, people like it. There are like a it. lot of fans of it, and, you know, they're a fan of... When I say too many people, um, w- one of my cousins likes it who isn't very... Uh, you're saying, like, basic-ass people. Yeah, like, he's not a, like a very it. sharp guy. Um, yeah, man. Same thing with, like, Harry Potter. Uh, that's There's a complex story there that not everybody... I guess, yeah. ...is into. Um, I, people like... Like Star Wars. Um, except Star Wars is a little bit more basic. It's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. <laughs> Imagine that though. Uh-huh. It's a fantasy based world, and the things they like the thing the things that they like about Star Wars in it they like about the Star- Game of Thrones. Is there or, a lot of lightsaber battles in Game of Thrones? There's a lot of cool sword battles, and later. Okay, you're only in the first season. Fantasy isn't that big in it yet. Mm. As it progresses, I mean, I heard something about ice dragons or some shit. I don't know about that. Yeah, dude, I saw it. These kids spoil it all on Twitter. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, you have Army of the Dead. You have, um, is there like the Stone Men? You have the, you have the dragons that are full grown now. You have, uh, you know, uh, people that are brought back to life. People that, you know what I mean. The first like, season is kind of weird, for me. Yeah, there's a lot of incest happening. Wow, dude, it was the times, man. <laughs> and I was like, this is weird. Well, it's the I'm not even aroused. This is not even. This is too taboo for me. <laughs> even for me, this is too taboo. I'm into the stepmom daughter thing, you know. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, full on brother and sister. That takes a special kind of weirdo to be into that. You don't necess. I don't know if the show is trying to purposefully get people off on that, Chewy. They're not with those intense sight scenes. <laughs> Maybe they serve the purpose of telling the story of how taboo in your in their, even in their time in your fan fiction. I want that little that little dude to be getting topped off on a on a throne, and I just want him to just get you getting topped off while he smokes a joint and he says, "A Lannister always pays his debts," and then blows it all out while he's getting topped off by his sister or something. Just write it in there for me, you know. <laughs> his first scene that he's shown he's getting topped off is it yeah i don't remember oh, maybe he's that's where brothel. i got it from <laughs> he's in he's in a brothel at winterfell and they're like where, where is uh Tyrion? and then he's just there <laughs> and the prostitute roz is with him i don't know uh, i uh, i didn't like that either she plays a bigger role later does well, she yeah well so it is a little bit of hype it and is also really she's good. not she's so not I a should, character in the book i should i should give it a shot yeah I just watch it one time through. That's a lot of watching. It is. All right. So now with that, your final thoughts. Give us, give us a good one. Send us off till next week. Send us off till next week. Well, we didn't talk about uh, my my actual views on the um, global warming. I don't want to go into it, but you know, I do believe in global <laughs> global warming. Okay. Um, just to clear that up. Just just clearing that up. I I I, I do believe in global warming. But uh, we'll talk about that next week because I'm sure that there'll still be some global warming happening next week. (laughs) Until next time, goodbye.